What's going on guys? It's Quizzy Dog here and in today's video we're going to go over exactly how to update the timing controller or TCON in your Hisense 65 inch U88G or U8G. This is a very commonly asked question based on all of my other Hisense content and rather than just repeat the steps within the comments of each and every video, I figured why not do a very quick visual tutorial so you guys can follow along and have success for yourself. So we're gonna jump right into exactly how to perform this action right after a word from today's video sponsor. If you guys are looking for an affordable Windows 10 key, then you need to do yourselves a favor and check out VIPSCDKey.com. Using the link within the description below, as well as the coupon code GG20, you will have yourselves a brand new Microsoft Windows 10 Pro OEM CD key for as little as $15.82. What are you waiting for? Use that link within the video description and thank you VIP SCD Key for sponsoring today's video. All right, so there's only really three things that you need to perform the TCON update. First, of course, will be the Hisense U8G or U88G. And so far the TCON or timing controller update is only available on the 65 inch. For those who own the 55, these steps do not work as of yet. However, I will update this content if by chance the update comes out anytime in the future. So TV is number one. Number two would actually be the remote control. This is what you're going to do to actually remote into the TV, go through all the steps we're gonna talk about and perform said update. And the last step, of course, or the last thing that you will need will be an internet source, whether it's on Wi-Fi or if it's on the network interface port or with a wired connection, you will need internet to be able to perform this update. So let's take a look at the TV and I'll walk you guys through exactly how to perform this action. All right, so the very first thing that I like to do is hit the home key on your remote control to go to the landing page of your smart TV. From here, simply navigate all the way up to the top right hand corner next to the time and locate your settings. This is indicated by either the gear or the cog that you see in the corner. Hitting OK on your remote control will launch these settings and pressing down on the arrow keys, we're looking for device preferences. Hitting OK to open preferences, we're going to hit down again all the way almost to the very bottom or actually the very bottom in this case and you're looking for about. This is indicated by the little eye for information. Hitting OK on the remote control, we're looking for system update which should be directly on the top of this menu and hitting OK, we're going to see the system update. Now make sure you are not hitting OK a second time on this if you actually select check for update, this is going to check for TV software updates. And in this case, we're looking to actually update the TCON or timing controller. And this is found within a hidden menu on this page. So on your remote control, press up four times quickly. And here we're gonna see the hidden menu for the TCON update. It will give you a little bit of information. So the update lasts about one minute. During the upgrade process, the screen is black and the power indicator light flashes. Please do not disconnect the power and the system will automatically restart after the upgrade is completed. So if you were to press OK on the screen using OK on your remote control, this will start the process of updating your TCON. And for those of you who have maybe less than optimum uh, motion on your television, the TCON update will significantly improve any sort of blooming, any sort of motion artifacting that you may be experiencing when you're gaming or watching content. And this is something that's commonly asked with this TV, whether or not people are having or experiencing issues with the motion or asking what they can do. One of the very first things you should do after checking for TV updates would be updating your TCON. And I'm not gonna bother updating it because mine is already up to date. But of course, just like the little splash screen says, the screen will go black. It'll kind of go through that upgrade process and all said and done from there. Now the TCON update also survives any sort of factory resets. Again, those resets are for the smart TV OS and not for the TCON itself. So this should retain anything that you do upgrade wise 
even if you factory reboot the TV. So I hope this helps some of you out. Go ahead and share this content with anybody who may be experiencing issues with motion on their TV for either watching content or playing games. And until my next video, my name is Queasy Dog. You guys have been awesome and we'll catch you all in my next one. Take care.